Today is uh, Monday, the 24th of September, 2012. We are in Troy, New York, at the Troy Senior Center. My name is Wayne Clark. I'm with the New York State Military Museum in Saratoga Springs, New York. Sir, for the record, would you please state your full name and date and place of birth, please? Uh, William Rannigan. Uh, date of birth is March 14, 1930. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, and you were born in? Troy, New York. Okay, and when were you born? Uh, 1930. Okay. Did you attend school in Troy? Yeah, but uh, not much. Okay. I uh, barely went to school. All right. Now, let me ask you, uh, as, a, as a young child, well, let's see, you would have been almost a teenager, uh, well, you'd be about 11 years old. Do you recall uh, the attack at Pearl Harbor? Yeah, I don't remember where I was. Okay, whereabouts were you? I was down in South Troy, on Monroe Avenue, Monroe Street, where we lived. I was going around the corner to the drug driver or something. Mm -hmm. uh, and we got word that the war started. But Japan is at the Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. Now, did you notice uh, life changed after that? Not a lot. Not, not, not in Troy. No. I never noticed much. Okay. Uh, it's only 11 years old. So. Yeah. Did you uh, know about the rationing that went on? Oh, yeah. Okay. But we were used to that because we, I came from a family of 18, 17, 17 brothers and sisters. Wow. Nine boys and nine girls. There's a debate about that. The, the, my brothers and sisters say no, it wasn't that much, and some say it was more. I said because they're counting, they're counting two or three that were born and died right oh, I away. See. Yeah. Okay. Still like stillbirth. But but, uh, okay. but would have they named them all? There would have been 19, 18. Wow. And what what kind of work did your father do? He was uh, he worked for uh, he was on a WPA when he uh, when I was a kid. Lived in 9th Street. Uh -huh. I was nine years old. Uh, he worked for the WPA, and we lived off of uh, that and what we got from the uh, what they call surplus. You call it welfare today, I guess. Okay. The surplus. Mm -hmm. We get. Uh, I think there was surplus. There was stuff from the First World War that they had stored up. I see. Butter and canned goods and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's these to dish out and clothes. Now, did you have any uh, brothers or sisters that went into World War II? All of them. All my brothers did. Did they? Okay. But uh, well, I remember my one brother in World War II. My other brother, uh, well, let's say, one brother they wouldn't take because he had too many kids. My brother Jack. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't go. My other brother Herbie went in. He's the one that was at Pearl Harbor, but uh, they sent him back home. Just before it happened, and then they went to uh, the African campaign, okay. or to Europe. Mm -hmm. And uh, my other brother Arthur, he went to uh, uh, some place in in uh, Texas for training for the 82nd Airborne, and his knee bent backwards. Ooh, <laughs> that was it for him. Uh -huh. Then uh, my other brother Gene uh, joined the Navy. He was in for four years, I believe. He got out and he joined the Air Force and uh, got discharged in the Air Force. Myself, I went and joined the uh, Army. I was in for three years, went to Alaska for two years. Come back, as soon as I got back, they tried to sign me up for the Marines. I said, no, no, it was 1950 early 1950, and I didn't go in, so I said, oh, I'll go in, but not, not now. Okay. They were going to give me so much time, I said, I already got the time. Okay. Let me go back a bit. Did, did you graduate from high school? No. Okay. I didn't go to high school. Okay. Did, did you go go to work? The, yeah, I worked. Before you went into the service? Oh, yeah. I worked, I worked uh, matter of fact, but while I was still in school, I went. I worked uh, in grade school. Okay. I worked down there, what do you call it, 5 and 10, down in the city of Troy, Trezzy's. Oh. Troy. Now, my life. Okay. now you went into the service in 1947. Yep. I got out in 50. Okay. And, and up there they tried to switch me, they tried to re-list up okay. in Washington. And right. I said, no, I'll let it win, I'll win later if I go. 
All right, so well, June of that year, this of uh, 50, I joined. This was a thing that was legitimate. Okay. All right, uh, let, me go, let me go back to when you entered the service in 47. Did and you enlist or were you drafted? I enlisted. I was only 17 years old. Okay, and you enlisted in the Army. Why did you pick the Army? Why did I pick the Army? I don't know, that's a special reason. Okay, and where did you go for your basic training? Uh, Fort Dix. And was that your first time away from home? Yep. Okay, what, what was basic training like for you? Fort Dix. Yeah, did you enjoy basic training? Well, yeah, it was all right. It was only eight weeks. Uh huh. The Marines was three months. Okay. Once you uh, completed your basic training at Fort Dix, where did you go next? Fort Dix, I went to a, a war college down in Washington, D.C. Uh, I was there at South Post Fort Myer, Virginia. That's where I was stationed. The uh, unknown soldier's tomb was there. Okay. And, and what did you do down there? I, I was a cook. Oh, okay. So you they sent you to a cook school? N not really. Not the no. Army, no. Oh, it was, I was, on, I was on the job? Cook. <laughs> on the job training? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gotta help the people. Okay. I don't know where they got that idea. Maybe they figured it wasn't anything good for anybody else. All right, yeah. so so you were a cook, huh? <laughs> yeah. And, and, and that was down in Washington. Washington D.C. Yeah. And then the. And, and then from there I went to uh, Alaska. Okay. Uh, and I was there for two years up in Alaska, Fort Greely, uh, Alaska. What did they have you doing up up there? Cooking. You I were was, a cook. I was a uh, at Kodiak Island. Okay. And you were a cook there. Yeah, cook there. How, how did you like Alaska? Oh, I loved it. Beautiful. Yeah. Did you? I should have. I should have stayed there when I got out and become a native. Uh huh. Yeah, you know, I could have. Uh, I think you had to take a an acre of land and develop it and uh, build a, a living quarters on it within a year, and the land was yours. It really? Paid or more than acre, whatever. Wow. Whatever they did like you. Now, did you do any hunting or fishing during your time? Fishing, off? yeah. Uh huh. And there was a guy saying go right out of the what do you call it, out of the mountain at Fort uh, Greedy. Fort Greedy. Mm -hmm. It was a mountain in the distance, but they were still finding gold in the water. Really? Yeah. And salmon used to get almost walk across the, across the, 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 the stream on mm -hmm. the backs of salmon or somebody. Wow. What were the uh, winters like there? They weren't bad. They weren't bad. Uh, I think maybe what took care of the winters for us pretty good was the sea air. Uh, it made it milder. Oh, I see. Because that was an island at the south coast, the beginning uh -huh. of the Lucian chain. Okay. Where it was. All right. But I went to Fairbanks, Anchorage, Naknak, Sitka, uh, a lot of those, I just stopping mm -hmm. on my way to Anchorage. I had to go to Anchorage to get my teeth taken out of bed. Okay. So, uh, you were there till 1950. 1950. Yep. Now, that was the end of your enlistment. Did they try to get you to re-enlist? Yeah. Uh, as soon as they get back to the States, you get discharged. Okay. Because the idea of trying to re-enlist us. How come you decided not to go in or yeah. re-enlist in the Army? You just well, had enough? I just I wanted to get home. I had been away for two years. I couldn't, couldn't go back for a vacation. Yeah. If I had 30 days a year, but I couldn't go back for vacation. Okay. So uh, I said, so I'm going to go back home for a couple of months. And I did, and then, uh, then I decided, I said, I want to see how tough the Marines are. So I went to the Marines, and okay. they took me. Okay, you joined the Marines, was it, in 19... 1950. 1950, okay. Yep. All right. And I, was, and, I and went to Paris Island for uh, the... the Basic training. I was there for the two months. From there, I went to Crook. Then they did send me to Crook and Baker School. Oh, okay. From there. Now, now did you did you find that the training you had in the Army helped you in the Marine Corps? Yeah, not especially. I was. Uh, I, I think they felt. I think the only reason they took me into service, they felt sorry for me. My teeth were so bad. Mm -hmm. The doctor said I heard him tell that. He says, if he don't get into service, he should have died. 
because uh, I was so, I was 124 pounds they weighed. And my, uh, my, uh, my teeth were poisoned, everything I ate, they were so bad. Uh -huh. I couldn't afford to have them done. My mother and father couldn't afford it. Sure. They were so bad that they said, well, take, get in and take care of his teeth. So they did. Okay. And I went to Alaska and finally, I, after I got to Alaska, they took them right out completely. Okay. All right, so uh, you're in the Marine Corps, uh, 1950. Went to boot camp. Yep. And then they sent you to a cook and baker school. Sent to cook and baker school. And yeah. you became a cook again. Yep. Okay, yeah. was, was a lot of the, that... Official then. Yeah, was a lot of that training like repetitious? I mean, you, you probably n knew more about cooking than anybody else you were... I, I evidently did because uh, I had uh, uh, three years of it in mm -hmm. the Army, you know. It helped. Sure. And I met some nice guys in the Army. There were good men that helped me along. Yeah. But I never did go to... I never thought about that. I knew they... I first figured it was they figured I'm not worth putting anywhere else. Huh. <laughs> I was so small yeah. and skinny. So you had plenty to eat though, right? I sure did. Okay. Now... I had a lot of friends, so... Now, did you end up in Korea during the Korean War? Yes, I did. How did that come about? I joined at the, uh, I was I was sent from uh, Triple Beta School to uh, El Toro Air Force Base, a Marine Corps base uh -huh. in California, and uh, my number came up to go over on a draft, thirteenth draft. So I just went over there and. That was it. How, how did you get over to Korea? Did you fly? By boat. By boat. Okay. Uh, whereabouts in Korea were you stationed? Pusan. Pusan. Oh, wait, let's say Pusan. Jeez, I can't remember. It's, it's in my DD-214. Okay. Uh, Korea, I went to Japan. Then we flew to Pusan. Korea. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there I was, I went to Pohang. Dumb, and uh, I was uh, attached to the uh, first Marine Air Wing. Mm -hmm. I was a uh, Ted Williams was supposed to be our squadron commander, oh. a ball player. Yep. Yeah. And they, whenever they have a kill, they barrel roll over our. our uh -huh. Only hit was tents. Yep. They caught the. Uh, did, did you ever see Ted Williams? No, I never did. No. Now, were you ever? Under attack by the North Koreans? No, no, we were we weren't too far away from the lines, but we never were attacked. Okay. We did have alerts, a couple of alerts where you had uh, build good fossils and sleep out a night or two. Mm -hmm. That's about it. We had a, we had some. The enemy came through one night and killed a bunch of almost a whole squad of guys in their in their sleeping bags. Oh and, really? Yeah, killed them all. They were, Somebody wasn't on duty or something. They killed on the receiving out, so they, they made us go out and, and uh, dig ourselves a hole outside and uh, spend the night. Mm. Okay. The, oh. the only casualty there was some guy shot a cow. Oh. Now, did you have much interaction with the Korean people at all? Yeah. I was trying to find a picture I had. I got it at home. I know I got it. I used to go to the they had a fence around our, our, our uh, area, and uh, I was feeding the Korean kids some candy mm -hmm. through the fence, me and three or four of the guys. Uh -huh. yeah. I don't remember taking any of the pictures. Oh. No, nothing special. How much time did you spend in Korea? A year. Okay. I went to uh, one R&R &R they gave me, I went to Japan, and uh, Spent seven days over there. It was nice. Yeah. Now, once your your year was up, where did you go next? Back to uh, <coughs> Treasure Island, mm -hmm. and then from there I went to uh, uh, Quantico, Virginia. Mm -hmm. Finished up my time. And you continued to be a cook. Yeah. Now, what rank? Uh, I see you were a, a buck sergeant. Yeah. I went, I went, almost got staff sergeant, but a kid beat me out over in Korea okay. out of that. All right, so it's 1954, 
and you decided to get out of the Marines? Yeah, and I, I regretted it ever since. I wish I stayed in. Uh -huh. Now, yeah. wh why did you decide to get out? Were you homesick? Or? Well, I, was, I just got married. But uh, I think what made me want to get out was the fact that my wife wanted me to stay in. Oh. <laughs> now, whereabouts is your wife from? Uh, Lancy Burr, she did that right here in Toronto. Oh, okay, so you met her? Like... I met her here. No. Okay. I met her here when I came home. All right. So you got out in 1954. Yeah. Did you make use of the GI Bill at all? Yeah, my, my uh, GED, that's about all. Okay, did you use it to buy oh, a house? Oh, and I did, come, I did buy a late in life. Uh, about 10 years ago, I bought a house. In Lancy Bar. Oh. A little late in life to do it, yep. but I did it anyway. Okay. And it wasn't really, that was really kind of a bad investment because it's, isn't that good a shape, the house. Uh -huh. yeah. But you're still living there. Yeah, I'm still living there. If right. I could get rid of it, I would, but. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, did you stay in contact with anyone you were in the service with? No. Okay. No, I never did. I often wish I, I had their names and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, uh. Did you, uh. I know. I could have got a hold of them now for the. Okay. I didn't. Did you, uh, join any veterans organizations? No, I don't know. I never was interested in that for some reason. Okay. So you never joined the Marine Corps League or the Legion no. or. Okay. I, uh, just. Wasn't much of a joiner that way. Mm -hmm. Next clubs, I'd go to their, some of their things they had, you know. But okay. I didn't want to join. All right. Yeah. How do you how do you think your time in the service changed or affected your life? Well, it, uh, as far as working, I was always energetic. I always wanted to work. Mm -hmm. But it gave me it did teach me some discipline. Mm -hmm. I think every kid that born today should have to go for a yeah. year. Okay. Have to go for here, uh -huh. whether they like it or not. Now, w once you got out, what kind of work did you do? Uh, I went to work for. Uh, well, I did some work for a roofer. I've got a list that long of jobs I had. Okay. I didn't get fired. I just went yeah, for just, trying to get ahead. What, when did you eventually retire? Uh, ninth, I'm 83 right, 82 right now. I retired. In 98, around 98. Okay. Something like that. All right. Social Security, yeah. Okay. And for my Teamsters. Oh, okay. You were a Teamster. Yeah. I drove a truck. Besides that, to work on the roofs, I drove a truck. As a matter of fact, the last 20 some years, I've been driving a truck. Tractor trailer? Uh, about uh, two years of that. Okay. Most of it was local delivery for Sears, uh, Wards, and Macy's. Oh, okay. Do a furniture. Sure. I liked it. Okay. And any uh, any grandchildren or children? Yeah, I got uh, I got three sons. One is uh, lives up here in Lansingburg. It was over above me in my house. Yeah. He's got. He just finished 24, 22 years in the Navy. Oh. Not just uh, about 10, yeah. 12 years ago. Okay. And my other son lives up in. Uh, Outside of Troy, North of Busker, and another side was in a federal prison for robbing a bank. Oh, okay. And he had uh, three kids. He had two kids. My one son, the Navy guy, he had six kids. Mm -hmm. So I got grandchildren plus great grand, about 14, 14 to 16 grandchildren, great grandchildren. Okay. The reason I'm hesitant about the mom because uh, my Navy son. One of those who Bay, because uh, on the outs of his wife, she brought him over the road uh -huh. in the business. And we haven't seen the kids in four, 14 years. Uh -huh. Now, is your wife still living? My wife, I, I divorced my wife in 1960. Okay. We divorced, yeah. Never got married again. All right. Almost, not quite. Okay. Well, uh, is there anything else you'd like to add before we close? Yeah. Anything else comes to mind? Yes, well, nothing much. Uh, and if you got any pull up there, ask him if I could have my grandfather's hat. 
<laughs> he hit his head on top of the the, the flag. Oh, he did. He was shot off, and they put his head. They hit, I got a picture, but I didn't break it down. Oh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, it was John Brower Du Bois. What was, was his, it, what was his name? John Brower Du Bois. Okay. Uh, he joined. Uh, he wore a fez. Oh, he was he was one of the Zouaves. Yeah, Zouaves. I couldn't. Have, it's hard to pronounce that word unless you know how to pronounce it properly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, lived in Troy. I think he joined in in Troy too. I'm not positive. Might have been New York City. But, uh, okay. but he never. He was killed. He lived. Mm -hmm. He get out. And, but. Uh, I was kidding with the guy, that's where he had the hat. He said, oh. Huh. <laughs> huh. Was the posterity. Well, well, how did you know his hat was on top of the flagpole? Huh? How did you know his, it was his hat? Oh, he's homeless. Oh, you're... you're Not me, my, my mother and family. Oh, okay. That was his hat, his, his hat on top of the thing. Oh, he had told the family that? Yeah. Well, oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, as I say, he didn't die in a service. He lived Years after. Yeah. Now, very, now, what unit was he with? Do you, rec uh, do, you, do you recall what unit he was with? He's ahead of written down to 100. And, I'm not positive, I'm guessing now. 130 or 150 or something. I'm not positive. But I, I've got it written down. The unit was out of Troy, though? or? I, not, I think it was, yeah. As I said, they gave me, the, the guy was nice enough upstairs. He went up there and gave you a, a write up. Okay. Uh, in a picture of the flag and the in the, the rainbow and the hat. Okay. Together, you know. All right. He gave me that with the write up on as John Brower divorced when he was listed when he got out. Okay. Very good. Here, I think he was only in for three two, three years. Okay. Yeah, well in the Civil War he was lucky he he survived. Well, you better believe it, he should yeah. be. Yeah. All right, well thank you so much for your interview. Okay. I wish I could give you more. I'm oh. excited about my life, but that's, That's it. That's fine. Thank you. I might have killed a couple of people with the, with my food. <laughs> <laughs>